to a mountain daisy by Robert Burns. We, modest crimson to the flower, host met me in an evil hour, for a morn crush among the store by slender stem, the spare we knows past the power of bonny gem. Alas, it's not thy neighbour sweet, the bonny lark companion meet, bending we mang with you a red, we spread breast, and have that springing bluff to greet the purpling east. Cold blew the bitter, biting north upon the early humble birth, yet cheerfully vocal in it forth amid the storm, scarce reared above the parent earth a tender form. The flaunting flowers our gardens yield, and sheltering woods and walls much shield, or have opened a random beard, or clot or stain, and dance the histy stubble field and seen the lane. There in thy scanty mantle clad, thy snowy bosom sunward spread, or lifts thy unassuming head and humble guise, but now a spare up tears for bed and love will lies. Such is the fate of artless mate, as it flows over rural shade, for love's simplicity betrayed in guileless trust, till she, like we, all saw it is laid low away the dust. Such is the fate of simple bard, a life of ocean like the start, and skilfully to note the dart of prudent law, to the billows rage and kids blow hard and will the more. Such fates to suffering worth is given, along with once and woes has driven, by human pride or cunning driven, to mistress brink, till wrenched of every stay but heaven he ruined sink. E'en though who mourns for daisy's spate, the fate is by no distant date, so in ruins plosh her drives the late full on thy bloom, a crush burneth the forest white shall be thy doom.